Yo, boys, this is we the play the Brenton Bushwick's of YouTube. It looks like the snowball microphone's working. The sound on this is working. I just wanted to test every little thing before I start playing my Pokemon Pearl game, whatever it's called. Shining Pearl. Pokemon Shining Pearl. I'm still trying to get the wrapping off of this. There we go. There's nothing in the case other than the game. So we're going to put the game in right away and play it. Whoopsie. Right away. Because if this game's not going to give me the dignity of having a title screen at the very beginning, I'm not going to give it the dignity of showcasing that title screen at the very beginning. So come on! Just show me the logo and nothing but. Please? Show something? Okay, well, that works. It showed me something. Now this is going to be the first Pokemon game that I play on the Ginky Shadowcast. So hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. I'm going to guess this is the professor. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Yay! My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Lads! Oh my gosh. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together. And at other times, we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to bow and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Choose a photo. We are not going to bother asking that same stupid question again. Uh, well, unfortunately, this isn't brown hair, but I'm sure I could do something about that much later on. Or in the near future. Or, you know, sooner than that. Alright, so your name is Brenton? Okay, so you're Brenton. A fine name, that is. Well, what's his name then? He's your friend. Is it Kona? Nah, we're just gonna call him Barry. We're just gonna go with the default. Alright, Brenton, the time has come. Yes. Your very own tale of Grand Adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless po people and Pokemon. Either or. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon! Ugh! Ow! I don't know what that was. It was dumb. Oh. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare oddly colored Pokemon elude detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear even fleeingly to the crestfallen team. Hey, wait a minute, that red Gyarados is supposed to be in Johto. Let's go, Johto games confirmed. Right? Right? Please? Like, actually, please? That concludes our special report. Search for the red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Good. <laughs> Yay, I'm actually playing this. I yawned. I haven't moved. Okay, yeah, that's default. <laughs> it's chibi! It's so freaking chibi, but at the same time, I can move in all four directions, so... Good, good stuff. Good stuff. It's the latest game console, the Nintendo Switch! Buy our o OLED version. Oh, that was different. I know that because I've been playing Pearl way too many times with Platinum. Maybe it was Platinum. 
Maybe there's a difference with Platinum. But I thought Barry was supposed to bump right into me as I was going down the stairs, but... Uh, whatever, we'll let the game go at its own pace. Brenton, Barry came calling you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Oh, you know, Barry, if you don't, you will. Oh, yes, Brenton, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It'd be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so, you know, don't do that. Professor's not going to bail you out and pull you before you even take a step and say, Hey, what are you doing? Get in the office now! That's, uh, one way to say it. Speaking of Barry... Oomph! Perfect. Good. What was that about? Oh, hey, Brenton. I'm going to the lake. You should come, too. And be quick about it. Okay, Brenton? I'm finding you one million if you're late. Aha! There's the line. Hi, this is Brenton, the player and editor of this Let's Play. I know I haven't talked much about this, but when I first encountered Barry, he threw me off with his mention about me paying him. It was just so bizarre. I know I'm not really representing that in this Let's Play, but just remember, if a friend ever does this to you, tell him to sell in Smash! Alright, Barry. Aw, oh, jeez. Forgot something. <laughs> I love those facial... Those facial expressions on your face. You have a face. <laughs> I can't. I can't! I just started this game! Why am I doing this already? Hi, Brenton. Are you looking for Barry? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. You just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. You look either tired, bored, or you have that exact expression. I better take my bag and guidebook, too! Oh? Oh, hey, Brenton! Nice of you to barge into my house like that. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a $10 million fine if you're late. Well, technically pokey because dollars aren't a thing. Barry! You're a good mother. Barry! Gosh dang it, you! You know what? I'm gonna save right here. Do I save in options? Do I save with a different button? Of course I do. I'm not looking at the screen again. There we go. Nice. That was fast. That's an interesting sound. Not exactly the same. <laughs> hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake. Yes. Isn't that Jodo? That show got me thinking. I bet our local lake has some Pokemon like that in it too. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find Pokemon like that. We're not gonna go in the grass. Remember what your mother said? Brenda, don't go in the darn grass. If you don't have your own Pokemon, you should be doing that. Okay, cool. I, I really have been playing Platinum. Kinda different from, uh, Pearl and Diamond, so... We're gonna save right here. Totally no reason for me to do that. And we are going to search for Pokemon in the water. Alright, to the lake! Let's find us a Red Gyarados! You know those things don't just show up anywhere, right? What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Ooh, look at the water though. I didn't know I was playing on the dolphin. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. 
something appears to be different than it was before, but this camera is going to continue to pan until you take this game seriously. Fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? Is this canon? And the thing decided to download itself anyways. It must be exciting again! Hmm? There is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The Legion should serve us very well in regard to our studies. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, let us pass, please. You're not even curious about why we're here? I beg your pardon. We'll be on our way. What was that about? Those two. You don't, you don't recognize either of them, especially one of them. You know, someone very, very important. Brunton, let's check this out. I don't have time for your shenanigans. Don't go into the tall grass, even though I was already doing that. No problem, no problem. We won't be there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. I mean, you were just trudging through some grass earlier, and you didn't have any problems. It's a briefcase? Those people forgot here. What are we supposed to do with it? We could try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. Oh no! No, Pokemon! I totally didn't see this scene earlier for certain reasons. What's going on? Uh, Pokemon? Pokemon! Look there are Pokeballs! That's Val looking for Pokemon. I gotta search for my Pokemon. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What happened? I was just pressing a button. I was looking for my Tepig. <laughs> ah! No! I didn't want Turtwig! Oh, we gotta start everything all over again! Okay, sorry about that, folks. I'm back. From a very, very long grind. It may not look like it, but I was actually trying to soft reset for a shiny hip love. That was a bit. That was a bit I was going to try to do. I was gonna stop after like maybe around 200 SRs. But as you can see by the footage that I'm hopefully showing off on the screen, um, I was using my old Pokemon Pro game to do this with its counter. Uh, the touchscreen doesn't work very well. But I made the mistake at one point of pressing the this button by accident, the red button, which switches the app that you're using, and it just... <laughs> I lost the entire counter. I was at like 270-something when I went to bed last night, and then I realized sometime in my sleep or something, I must have accidentally touched the red button, and I lost the entire counter, so... Good stuff, good stuff. But we're continuing the game. This is where I get serious about the game. So, wah, your Piplup totally rocked! But my Turtwig was way tougher than yours. There were other people's Pokemon. But we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? I'm not wearing the glasses, by the way. Oh, there's the briefcase! The professor would have been furious if I had lost it! Huh? Oh no! D did you use the Pokémon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh, what's the professor going to say? This is not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. And the Pokéballs that you hopefully put back in the briefcase. No, I'm serious. Did they put back the Pokéballs? That's kind of important. What was that about? 
I don't know what's going on, Brenton. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Do you still have that Pokemon? Barry, no. No, do you still have that Pokemon? You go ahead. I know we have to go for turns. <laughs> Dang it! Barry! We just stole Pokemon! We're going to jail! <laughs> oh, Dawn! You didn't even bother looking in the briefcase. I mean, those three Pokeballs are just jumbling around. You think you wouldn't have heard the jumbling if they were? Wow! Don't grow old, kids! Don't grow old! You start getting cynical about everything. Jeez. I want to spend just a little bit more time with this little guy. Oh, this is good commentary, though. Oh. Oh, it wants me to move again. Can I just... Ah! I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. We didn't have any choice in using those people's Pokemon, right? But these Pokemon belong to them. They'll want them back, won't they? But this is the first Pokemon I've ever battled with. Well then, let's go give them back the Pokemon. What, well, we just gotta go... Oh, hi. He stole it! He stole it! I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, it's those people! Is that old guy staring at us? Sure is! Hmm. I heard from Dawn that you used our Pokemon. Let's see him, please. Hmm. Piplup and Turtwig. Hmm. I wonder if my voice can go any deeper. I see. That's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. Are you gonna call the Jenny the police? Uh, okay, Professor! Please wait for me! I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you! What was that, all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Printon, we should go home too. I recognize some of those, um, animations. What's up, dear? Hmm. Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. And the dialogue. Am I ever glad you both, that both you and Barry are unharmed? I should probably wear my glasses. The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sand Gym Town. I heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Brenton, I think you should... I still can't read with the glasses. I think you need to visit him in Sanjim Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know! Brenton, put these on! You received a pair of running shoes! Going to Sand Gym Town is like your adventure in itself, right? With these running shoes, you could get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me meet the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. What, no B button? There's a B button on this controller. I thought we were supposed to use the B button. On running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Or is it that just nifty? <laughs> well, uh, it looks like I'm walking. <laughs> but if I hold the B button, woo! Look at me go into a full sprint! And then I let go of the B button. <laughs> And I can still run! I saw this post on Twitter. I just wanted to kind of test it out. Alright, so... I do have Piplup with me. 
Love that reflection, by the way. Naughty? Really? I'm not going to say it again. I've done that almost 200 times. Uh, but this Pokemon's not by nature, and it likes spicy food. It's mischievous. Hmm. What do I call him, though? Here's the thing. And I'm going to actually kind of rant a little bit. I know, shocker, I never ever do that. But here's the thing. First off, there's not enough light. There's light around here. Barely see my face anyway, so... I don't know why I didn't do that first. Second! I wasn't intending on picking Piplup, necessarily. I had already picked Piplup as my Pokemon for Pearl. The original Pokemon Pearl. So I'd like to play with a different starter. However, Galaxy Wish, you might know that person from a few of my rants and videos, said that we should all pick only one of the starters. Ergo, everyone gets a different starter. Koda, who loves turtles, picked Turtwig. Galaxuis picked Chimchar, probably because of the anime, and I got stuck with Piplup. But Galaxuis has it in his thick head that we are always going to do this, that we are always going to pick just one of the starters and the other brothers get a different starter. I'll explain more after this cutscene. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. Not sure if I'm doing Dawn justice or not, but this is it. A Pokemon research lab. Let's go. God! What the? Oh, it's you, Brenton. That old guy. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Brenton. I'm out here. See you later. Gary <laughs> ran away. Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyways, let's go inside. Probably spill over the microphone and screen with that gag. Nice. Hmm. Finally, you've come. Brenton, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. I love this piano. Rendation. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give that Piplup to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? I would, I just don't know what I'm going to call him. See, I could go with Frozone. Don't go there. I'm gonna look this up right now, as I'm recording, but I think when I pick the name Frozone, the movie The Incredibles was not even out. Uh, when was The Incredibles first? I don't know if the teaser had Frozone in there or something, but... Uh, let's see... No, I don't want to find out about the VHS release. I want to find out about when the film itself was released. What release film was in 2004? Okay... Google... When was... Pokemon Diamond released. 2006? <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, alright, well, I no longer have any credible evidence that I didn't name my Piplup slash Empoleon based off a character from a Disney property slash Pixar. So that's, that's terrible. <laughs> can't, can't live that one down. Um, 
I'm gonna just go with a name that's just coming to my head right now. Killers! D d I don't know why, just Killers. I see, and you're happy with that nickname? Ah. Your friend Barry told me what happened at the lake. I heard you bowed very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Piplup. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon! If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I can't even say it! Ahem. Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. Sinnoh Pokemon? Moving on. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon sent for me? Yeah, it's not that. Good answer. You obtain the Pokedex, and thus another obsession begins. <laughs> that Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Brinton, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. Sorry, that was Dawn. I read the name after I read the dialogue. When you walk up to Route 2021, 2001, 201, how did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with my Pokemon, or with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Brinton, your grand adventure begins right now! The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Chimchar! If you would have chosen Chimchar at the lake, we would have chosen the same Pokemon! Or so you think, because this game's tricky like that. Not that matters, but... Anyways, I'm Dawn! I also help the professor add pages to the Pokédex. So in a sense, I'm just like you! I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Brenton! See, I forgot she was a mentor or mentor, to Professor Rowan in the series. That's when she started um, talking about how she'll teach me things on Pokemon Masters EX, yes, that game. That it kind of threw me off, but now that I'm seeing this, and my Pokemon Platinum game umpteen hundred times, um, it's clicking in place now. So... I should really stop here, but I want to tell a story. And this is about Pokemon Black version. I'm not talking about the Let's Play that you guys are all waiting for me to do with this guy! No, I'm talking about my original playthrough of Pokemon Black, which is not on YouTube, because I don't think I even started my YouTube channel back then. Even if I did. I was never thinking about put posting Let's Plays. But regardless. Galaxy Wiss apparently did the same thing. I don't remember this. He was saying, you can only pick the grass, fire, or water star. And if one of your other brothers picks one of those, you can't pick the same one. So Galaxy Wiss chose... Uh... Well, no, no, no. I don't want to talk about Galaxy Wiss yet. <laughs> I want to talk Coenbos. He was wanting Tepig. However, I started talking about liking Tepig. I, I bet you guys couldn't believe that. So he ended up convincing Coenbos to pick Oshawott. Which, Koda wasn't too crazy about Oshawott. 
Um, the main picture of Oshawa, the main icon, doesn't show him smiling. But then Galaxy West found a picture of Oshawa smiling. Let's just say it was a picture from the anime. And Kompos was hooked. So, Galaxy West was going to pick Snivy. Do you, do you see the problem? Hold up. Hold up. Add so much of this video. This is my partner Pokemon in Pokemon Black. This is Superior, who evolved from Snivy. You know, the Pokemon that Galaxy Wiss was going to pick. Here's the thing apparently, he did pick a Snivy, but it was me. Me solely, who suddenly decide out of the blue, yeah, I like Tepig, I'm not crazy about the evolution, but as I look at Superior over here, I want her. Like, I legit wanted a female Snivy, and that's what I did. I kept softer until I got a female Snivy on Pokemon Black, but in the meantime, both Coda and Galaxy Wiz thought I picked the Tepig! A Tepig! And not the shiny variant. I didn't even know what a shiny variant looked like. So I ended up breaking that oath, that promise. They didn't know about it until recently when we were talking about all of our adventures, all of our memories of the Pokemon games, and then I mentioned picking Snivy, and Galaxy Wiz is like, no, I picked Snivy. It's like, yeah, you may have picked Snivy, but so did I. And Galaxy Wiz is like, you were supposed to pick Tepig. I was the one that got it so Koda would pick Oshawa instead of Tepig so you would get the Pokemon you wanted. And it's like, dude. Why I somewhat appreciate that, because, look at this face, how, how can you hate that face? Rhetorical question, rhetorical question there. In the end, it's my choice. And why I like the idea of us picking, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm conflicted on this, but I couldn't be happier that I got to have a female superior on my original Pokemon Black game. But the fact that I don't even remember that Galaxy was saying, I'm going to pick Snivy, you pick Tepig, and that's that. And the fact that he's making a big deal about it now, it's just, once again, it's just rubbing me off the wrong way. I could have easily decided Turtwig. I could have decided Chimchar. Chimchar is the Pokemon Galaxy Wiz has right now. But I could have chosen either of those instead of Oshawott. Should I have? Would I have been happier traveling with a different partner? I mean, I like Pe <laughs> I like Piplup and the game doesn't like me waiting here, but I digress. That was... That was a lot longer of a story than I was going for, but... Next time... We... Will continue... After this dialogue. I'll have to put, like, a skip thing. In case people want to just get on with the story. Alright, Brenton, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a lot more experience than you when it comes to being a trainer. Uh... You as a trainer and as a Pokemon professor's assistant. Is it hot in here? Of course it is. Alright, follow me! And listen to this lovely music! This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find the Pokemon Center in most towns. At least we got these dynamic camera angles. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemon. 
It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Brinton, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it buy you. Oh, that's right, Brinton. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Boa with the Pokedex? So, well, if you say so. You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone out. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Bye, Dawn. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna be a good little boy and like my naughty, naughty Piplup. And take care of this. Welcome to the Pokemon here. We restore your Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. Just hand them over. I can only say the same darn line so many times. Speaking... That's not what I meant to do. Speaking of so many, like, many, many lines. I'm going to not be talking to every gosh darn NPC in this game, at least during the Let's Play. I'm going to be saving that as stuff that I do off screen, but if I ever find anything interesting, or dare I say I find something worth showcasing, I knew there was a hint I am here. Um, then I will post it on my Twitter. I'm doing a whole lot more with my Twitter account. So, if you want more content from me based off this game and other games that I'm playing, then, wrong house, then make sure that you check out my Twitter. Follow me there. I post all kinds of funny and ranty things, so you'll hear a lot from me. Oh, what's this? Here we are! It's the Contest Digest! The star of the show is today's normal rank cleverness contest is... Wesley, who won his particularly well-groomed Pokémon. Wit is broken. That's all the time we have today! Let's look at the screen, though. We got... What is that? What is that? I mean, we have Chansey. Obviously. Oh, okay. That's Chansey's pre-evolution. Happini. For some reason, it looked like a rock rough to me for a second. Pokemon home, Brinton. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest here. Um, but Mom, I got something. There we go. What's up, Brinton? Oh, Professor Vaughn asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Okay, Mom. Long game. Oh, I know! Brenton, I've got something that you'll find useful. I've received the guidebook. All right! I didn't have to pay money for the strategy guide. Nice. That's funny. I like that. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you're curious about something or have questions during your adventure. You may find an answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. Just... I'm just joking. I'll be alright by myself, dear. So you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometime. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Guidebook, we don't need to do that. Excuse me, is my little Barry here? No, he's not. Oh, then he must have left all day. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure and then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least want him to take this. Not to worry. Brenton will deliver that to him. Won't you, Brenton? Oh, really? You'll do that for me? Brenton, please take this to Barry for me. You have no idea how much of a hassle that boy is. No, no, I, I have a pretty good idea, though. 
Bye-bye, Brenton. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilee Sail. We're not getting there anytime soon. Okay, please take that to my berry. And off I go, as soon as I figure out the controls. Oh, Brenton, you're forgetting something important. Your darn hat! There we go! Can we... Can we talk about that technical glitch for a moment? We all saw that, right? That hat always did suit you well, Brenton. Now off you go. Off I go. First episode, guys. What an episode. But I can promise that I'm going to do way more and be way more productive in the next episode. Till then, and until my next episodes on Pokemon and whatevs, this has been We to Play, along with my Pokey Cove host. We got nothing left to say, so we hope you enjoy your day. Take care out there, and I will catch you later. Let's see if I press the right button this time. There we go.